If you'd like to see more of our videos, hit the subscribe button to stay on top of the market news. Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezak at CM Trading. Today is September 21st, 2020. And today is Monday morning. So looking at the highlights of the day, the Dow Jones and the NASDAQ continue to sell off quite aggressively in the markets. But first, let's take a look at the various markets. So we're looking at the various markets, no major economic events scheduled for today. But as we start with the currencies, we see that the majors are pretty much tapering off on lighter volume, less volatility. We're going to take a look at that as well. Looking at the indices, the Dow Jones and the Nasdaq continue to sell off to supportish level. And looking at the commodities, gold pretty much steady, just unchanged for the day while we're watching oil retrace a little bit and lastly looking at the stocks we're seeing weakness across the board especially in the tech sector while the rest of the market looks like it's perking up but the question is is are we going to perk up today so let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading so let's just highlight this okay we're looking at the euro usd at a four hour chart you can see pretty much we've been in this tight range okay a 200 to 150 pip range over the past month and a half okay and that's after going up over six to seven hundred pips okay so relatively we're still trading with this in range okay we're flat at this 118 ish level right now so really nothing to write home about when we look at the gbp usd we saw a little bit of a bounce after a decent retracement in the euro usd from 134 down to 127 and now we're trading at 129. So with that said, okay, this may be an area for this to actually retrace after this little bounce. Now looking at the USD RAND, okay, the RAND got much stronger last week as it broke the 1641-ish level. But as we're looking at it right now, it is bouncing. But what was previous support should be subsequent resistance. So I don't expect it to go above 1641 and possibly later selling off. So that could be a play as that unfolds. Now looking at oil, all right, we're, uh, excuse me, looking at gold, we're trading right now at 1951, okay? Now this has also been in a range over the past month and a half, okay, between this 1967 and 1900-ish level, okay? Now altogether, we're trading right on the upper range of it, okay? So nothing really bouncing at me right now. If you look at the moving averages, we're right there, okay? So nothing really bouncing out. So I'm waiting for some sort of catalyst, okay? As we get closer to the election day, which is happening November 3rd, I do expect oil to uh, actually rally before then or subsequent to up to it, okay? So that could be a play as this still unfolds, all right? But you're not gonna get it so quickly, okay? It's gonna trickle up, gonna trickle up, all of a sudden you'll look at it, and it'll be at 1967, you say, wait a second, where did it get to here? And then all of a sudden it'll just bounce and find itself above 975, 985, and then rally up much higher, okay? So keep that still in the back burner. Now looking at oil, we are retracing here just below that 14 day moving average okay now this did have a nice rally last week okay but as this falters and it does pick up momentum we could see it sell off so keep that on the radar however looking at the dow jones okay now this is really something very important we are trading at 27,400 ish level which you can see is a clear support level okay you can see it that we've hit this area quite a few times over the past month and a half so with that said okay if we don't sustain it today and we do break it we could get back to the 26,000 ish level okay now i do expect another thousand point retracement at some point okay it might happen this month still it might happen next month but going up to the elections i do expect that to happen okay there's going to be a lot more volatility now the stocks have to trade in tandem which means that the stocks really have to show some sort of strength but we're looking at some of the majors if we look at apple Okay, we can't populate a uh, graph more than this, but you could see that it's retracing down from 117, 120-ish level, okay, down to 104, okay? So that's a massive retracement for Apple. If we look at Microsoft, also did below $200. We actually got a little bit of a bounce on Amazon last week, but altogether it's down below that $3,000 dollar mark okay so across the board we're seeing some weakness however there are pockets of upticks that we see all the time okay jp morgan last week although it broke its trend line it was trading up on the day okay it's still on a tight range but it was trading up okay so the market's still reluctant to really sell off just aggressively 
but when they do they will catch up okay the stocks will catch up either either the nasdaq or the dow jones is going to take the lead and then bring down the stocks or vice versa okay so you got to really keep a very sharp eye now i want to jump into the nasdaq just for one more second and the nasdaq is trading at 10,880. okay now it did breach that 11,000 support level okay where we were expecting it to actually hold but it didn't okay the next support level is 10,300. so we do have about 550 points still that we can have some downside momentum okay going into this week's trading so keep that in mind all right if these stocks do not bounce later today this is fred razak i want to wish you guys a great trading day thank you